I'm John Miller, CEO of Kaizen Institute. I'm here with Masaki Imai, uh, our founder and chairman of Kaizen Institute, the author of Kaizen and Gemba Kaizen, here to talk about his second edition of his uh, Gemba Kaizen book. I'd like to welcome Mr. Imai. Thank so, you. Uh, this book was published first in 1997, mm -hmm. and uh, the second edition it has more than 50% new content. So can you tell me what is new uh, about this book? Well, first of all, uh, this includes uh, many you know, new uh, cases and uh, many new, uh, let's say, uh, the ideas that I have uh, uh, came to notice uh, which, you know, in implementing Kaizen, mm -hmm. such as uh, the role of top management. Okay. And I understand you had a, an interview with uh, Mr. Arthur Byrne of formerly of wire mold, about this very topic. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about that? And uh, there is a very interesting case, of course, uh, you know, in the, uh, the first edition about uh, wire mold. Yes. And uh, well, this time also, you know, I had a good opportunity to talk with him. And uh, well, I think he's a very good uh, personification hmm. of uh, each indiv individual and the CEO you know, in playing uh, uh, the uh, critical role in uh, embracing the lean approach. Yes, so the new chapter, I believe, is called The Role of the CEO in Kaizen. So Correct. We have a good discussion with him about that. Mm -hmm. uh, in the previous book, uh, the many case studies and many examples in the chapters were from Japanese industry. and But you've been traveling the world, and, and, and there have been many, many uh, companies worldwide doing lean and Kaizen. Can you tell us about uh, some of the updates to the, the chapters and the examples that mm -hmm. in this book. So uh, we have uh, many uh, uh, you know, the new uh, territories uh, where the Kaizen uh, has been uh, uh, successfully uh, employed yes. and uh, from uh, almost uh, all the continents mm -hmm. of the world. And also, uh, you know, we have now included many cases, not only from manufacturing, but from any uh, non-manufacturing and uh, service and the governmental organizations, yes. which uh, I think are new development. Yes, it's, it's very interesting that since, since the book about Kaizen has come out in 1986, and this book uh, now has been updated since its publication in 1997, there, now there, Kaizen is in almost every industry. We see the examples in this book you've, you've yes. collected from uh, hospitals, from government, from airports, from retail. So it's truly become a worldwide phenomenon. What do you mm -hmm. think is the is today the, the, the need? Why today is Kaizen, Gemba Kaizen, still important after almost 30 years? Well, you know, because uh, uh, this is the age of uh, global uh, competition mm -hmm. and global supply chain management. Yes. And uh, it is uh, not simply enough to be uh, the best in one country. Mm -hmm. And we really have to understand what the world's best organizations are doing and what the, the worldwide the customers' requirements are. Mm -hmm. And uh, to understand that, I believe that uh, this is the best time for any organizations mm -hmm. to really uh, you know, the, get understand the Kaizen mm -hmm. and uh, try to emulate it. Okay. Some organizations say that, uh, that Kaizen or lean management is not compatible with innovation or, or new product design and, and creative environment because it is too, too structured or too different than the innovation thinking. However, there's some examples in this book where uh, innovation has been used or Kaizen has been used to uh, effectively uh, promote and drive innovation. What is your view on uh, innovation and new product creation and Kaizen and Lean? Are these two compatible or are these two different, very different things? Well, I, I would say that there are two uh, ways of making improvement. Mm -hmm. One is uh, you know, the involving everybody and uh, making a uh, gradual, you know, step-by-step -step improvement mm -hmm. and without spending much money, yes. and which is a, a typical Kaizen approach. The other is an innovative approach and uh, employing the state-of-the-art technologies and uh, investing a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we need both approaches. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, uh, the first step is uh, to make better use of the existing resources. Yes. And uh, uh, typically, in most Western companies, 
you know, the uh, executives tend to uh, believe that uh, uh, in order to make improvement, you, you know, you have to follow this innovative approach. Mm. On the other hand, the Japanese uh, industries have benefited most uh, first, you know, from applying uh, a Kaizen, yes. and then, if necessary, you know, the, uh, they have tried to introduce an uh, innovative approach as well. Mm. So I would say that uh, they are both mutually helping each other. Okay, good. Uh, you've traveled the world and seen many companies, helped many companies over the last uh, almost 30 years. And how many, uh, what percentage or what number of, of organizations worldwide do you think have begun to to use Kaizen and Lean? Is it 5%, is it 10%, is it 50%, 90% in your estimation? That is uh, where my uh, biggest frustration comes. Where, And, uh, you know, the in my estimate, uh, you know, out of all the uh, companies and organizations in the whole world, and uh, uh, those uh, organizations which have successfully embraced Kaizen and have uh, benefited, you know, most from such an uh, introduction uh, is, I would say, less than 1%. Less than 1%. Less than 1% of all the companies. Okay. So, therefore, that's the reason why, you know, uh, I'm, I'm coming up with the second edition of Gemba Kaizen. Okay. And uh, also another, uh, well, the, the Kaizen book, hopefully, yes. to come sometime hopefully next year. very soon. Okay. Well, <laughs> very soon, yes. Thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the viewers and the, the readers? No. Uh, the only thing I would like to say is that uh, uh, to today, you know, one of the most important and urgent things, you know, that, that, and the strategies that they, they should uh, introduce is uh, Kaizen mm. to, in order to survive, you know, in uh, today's global uh, competition. Okay. Thank you very much. So Welcome. Kaizen and continuous improvement is a key strategy for survival today and in the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Welcome.